I'm here waiting for Christian, my boyfriend. Uh, he's been gone for six months. It was really hard, um, just stressful, uh, but to have a really good support system, family and friends. And so they made it a little easier, but it's still pretty tough and stressful. So what are you feeling right now waiting for I have A lot of anxiety. I'm very excited, uh, relieved as well. Um, I'm shaking. I'm so excited to see him. So it's perfect. It's a perfect Christmas gift. Uh, he's just down the street and I'll be seeing him any minute now. Oh, they passed Doran. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're all getting emails. Oh, yeah. yeah, everybody is. <laughs> ten minutes? Five minutes? So how are you feeling knowing that they're ten minutes away? Super excited. I'm nervous. <laughs> Why? I haven't seen him in seven and a half months. So. Is this the first uh, homecoming that you've had to go through? Um, the first one from Afghanistan, yes. Okay. No. No. It's also Christmas Eve. That's kind of an interesting kind of uh, thing. Cutting it very close to Christmas. Close. <laughs> he was the last. The, the, they were the it. last two. Yeah. Does it make it? Uh, I mean, how is it? That, how do you feel knowing that you know he's gonna be home for for Christmas? Very thankful. Yeah. Very thankful. Were you starting to think maybe they're not going to get back here uh, uh -huh. to be like well, with 27th all the weather, or something? With the weather <laughs> that was and happening all the delays. in Europe. And oh, yeah. 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 Really close. We didn't tell the kids really exactly no. when daddy was coming home, just in case. Yes, it is. <laughs> there they are. They're getting off the highway right now. They're turning <laughs> off the highway. Bad stations, everyone. Bad stations. So he's been gone seven months? Yep, just over. Okay. And is this the first time he's been uh, gone? Third time. So you've done this a few times? This is um, the, the last tour uh, we were just dating. This is the first tour doing it married with a little kid at home. She's a little bit different now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad they didn't miss Christmas. Um, yeah. The army got them home before Christmas, so that's all I can be grateful for. And you haven't seen your, uh, is it a boy or a girl? Girl. So you haven't seen her for a little while? No, I missed a lot, so. So you've done this before. What's it like coming back on Christmas Eve? Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know, it's just, it's just good to be home. You have to open presents tomorrow and the kids and stuff like that, so. I'm, I'm very happy to be back. So you're right into it. Yeah. There's, there's no breaks. <laughs> no. There's no break. I'll be taking a break now. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Yeah. That's all, that's all I can say, sir. <laughs> <laughs> seven and a half months. I've never been big in Christmas, so this time actually means a lot more to me this time. So, good thing. It's been, really want to see the family this time, so. Yeah. Now, how are you feeling, Emery? Ecstatic. Uh, it's a mix of emotions. I'm nervous, I'm excited. Um, it, in a sense, it feels like it went by so quickly, but it also feels like it was long. And uh, I was actually in Afghanistan myself uh, for six months um, during his tour as a civilian, and so, we were really lucky. We had the opportunity to have more contact with each other because I was there. We didn't see each other, but um, we could text. And so I got home six weeks ago and been waiting and getting ready for him to come home. And the fact that he was going over there was the best opportunity for me to support the troops, but also specifically to support my husband and to kind of get a taste of the life over there. And I've always respected what they do, but now having been there, um, only, even though it was inside the wire, I really have a, a newfound respect for what they go through. 